Hey fellas, so earlier today I just finally saw a free guy since I started streaming me online and wouldn't you know it, because of the unique nature of the of when, of the Fox merger, technically makes us both a Disney Plus whole trip and an HBO Max Relax video. So the film is directed by Sean Levy, and even though I haven't liked every single film he's probably put out, how it's he at least understands the basic comedy and it can definitely is if he's passionate about anything, whether or not he the movie is good or bad. I can definitely say that this one falls in the good camp, so let's get started. So the film takes place in the yes, in the fictional online game Free City, wherein a non player character named Guy, played by Ryan Reynolds, is a bank attendant who who discovers like the loop he's in and decides to break that loop, much to the chagrin of the hey, villainous this this game company heads us tech bro. Oh, Antoine played by a deliciously high Taika Waititi. I mean, and he also has to who team up with other characters in order to break free the loop in the game for it's too late. It definitely has this over-the-top GTA Online to it, but it really focuses more on like the over-the-top absurdity than the gore aspect, like how it's definitely making a lot of interesting use of not only the concept, it also has shades of anything from Fortnite or Truman Show involved, uh, but basically it's kind of like the movie I wanted Ready Player One to be, if you're almost right during the book as well, and yeah... And definitely has quite the fantastic cast put together as well. Oh, I mean, it's on like even some cameos you wouldn't expect, like everyone from Channing Tatum to Chris Evans to yes, even Alex Trebek. What is the emotion I felt when I saw uh, his post homeless cameo? I'll take Touched for two hundred there. Mm. It's another film that actually was. It was only was actually apparently couldn't just be put online to start with because of the whole it actually completed filming prior to the merger being finalized iced I so they had to see a first run the actual release and as it turns out actually put out to be in a, a big hit I mean I mean I mean since it made 120 million dollars domestically and over 331 million dollars worldwide on its 100 million dollar budget which it naturally has made so like a sequel is in early developments. I'm looking forward to what that might entail. I mean, and I gotta say, I really enjoyed seeing Taika as Twan in there. I mean, given how how when they say he looked like he came from Burning Man, well, how I definitely believe that he looks like he had like an Assassin's Creed cosplay contest in one moment, as well as like a post Post Malone or a major laser concert the next. I mean, he's definitely embodies that kind of unscrupulous as uh, as uh, games as just tech bro especially i mean i mean i won't be spoiling everything he does to give an idea of just how unhinged he is I man so it's definitely want to be willing to watch again and also enjoyed seeing like all these like the crossword posts everything from, like mario 64 to minecraft to even 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 Animal Crossing, so I definitely hate I mean, I had to I had to say now I'm not so good of a full on view right this moment, but I'll definitely will give it like an easy like like four or four point five out of five I had to say right now, I mean, which again in the same same ballpark as I I put Space Jam Legacy as well as like with yeah, the in both Rock of Rock movies, movies all of which because we be more enjoyable by player one and the fact that even had this kind of metric to begin with definitely says something about how you know, things are changing for using video game like elements in your movie and how much closer the two meters are intertwined, man. Like I say, I'll just deal with everything else as it comes, man. Um I mean and that's all I got to say for now. Take care everyone. Mm.